Hey guys, so here bringing you another video. Now this is the return to league discussion. It's a series that I did on the channel a while ago and since then the channel has grown. So if I introduce it as league discussion is basically like a podcast. You're not going to gain anything by watching the screen unless I kind of tell you to watch the screen. Uh, like in the future I may do a key binding, league discussion, etc. But today we are doing about league anxiety. So either feel free to watch the footage in the background. You know, you're not going to gain much by watching it apart from just watching a bit of nah. Um But other than that, you know, just minimise it. I always recommend going into a custom game and practice CSing while these are on. Because, uh, you know, practicing CS is always a good idea. But yeah, it's a discussion, so I, I people give me topics to talk about, I talk about them, and then in the comments below, we discuss it. It's that simple. I'm always down in the comments section, especially in these videos, because of these topics that I talk about, people really do have big opinions on them. Um, so again, today's topic is about league anxiety. The whole thing around getting nervous about going into ranked, or even just playing League of Legends in general. Now I will be mainly focusing in on ranked, so I apologise if you do feel uh, anxious or nervous about just playing League of Legends in general, uh, but the majority of people that have this problem basically just have it with ranked, so I will be just, I'll be going with that mainly. Um, so these kind of stories go of uh, my personal point of view on the topic, uh, my personal story, um, so we'll start with that. So just to kind of set you guys at ease, I'll say most people, maybe 50% of people in League of Legends who've played it have some form of league anxiety, whether it's just being nervous about playing, whether it's they don't want to play because they'll lose rating, or they could lose rating, they don't want to play because they could feed. At some point or another, people have experienced probably if you know what you're experiencing right now. And I was there. I, I am somebody that had league anxiety. I had it around se the beginning of season two. And now the what the first thing I will say when you have a problem is identify what your problem kind of is in, you know, more specific. So, you know, league anxiety can be a number of things. As mentioned, it could be about whether you're thinking you're going to feed, whether you're going to go in and just you're scared about losing LP. So your concentration levels will be down. Identify the problem. So for mine, it was mainly about losing the game. Just it wasn't about rating or anything like that. It was just mainly about losing because... My backstory is, as many of you know, I started League of Legends in Season 1. Although I never played it seriously in Season 1 at all. I played it very, very casually. Um, I still am a fairly competitive person in just my nature. And in Season 1, I did 6 ranked games. And I lost all 6. I didn't even get rated in Season 1 because, you know, you, it takes 10 games to get rated. And I only did 6 and I left it there. I was like, nope, I ain't gonna do any more. And that really threw my confidence, as you'd probably imagine. So I did that, um, and then Season 2 came, and I literally still didn't play Ranked until maybe the middle of Season 2. And then again, as many of you know, I ended up in uh, high, very high silver at the end of Season 2. It was actually at 1490 ELO from memory, which it was a different rating system back then. Um, but basically that meant I was one win away from gold. That's kind of how it worked, but I never got that win. But that came around, and I got silver, and I was very close to gold, so I felt okay about myself, I suppose. Um, but I was still nervous. Season 3 is what kind of changed everything for me, uh, is when I kind of... It was the point that League of Legends basically became my main game. Uh, you know, World of Warcraft kind of went a bit downhill, and went into League and I was like, I really love this game, but if I want to play this game more seriously and it's going to become a May game, I need to get into Ranked. So it was kind of a, a thing of need. So I got into it and I just played, honestly. You know, I was still nervous, still goddamn nervous. You know, still to this day, occasionally, I'm like, oh, do I want to go in Ranked right now? Am I in the mood? Do I feel it? But back then, you know, I was still nervous, but I kind of persevered and I just got through it. And yeah, hey, lo and behold, I got to Diamond 1 in Season 3. Now, getting to Diamond 1 kind of changed everything for me because... Well, get, just basically getting to Diamond changed everything for me because it was like, I can do this, so what, why do I need to be nervous about it? So that is one thing I'll say. Identify your problem if it's whether you're going to go down in rating, whether you're just simply going to lose the game, whether you're not going to get the champion you play, the role you play. Identify what you're nervous about and then try and take action upon it. So mine was simply losing the game. But then I kind of put my own mentality in because obviously I come from a sports background and it was 
losing is a part of winning you know in every sport you know i was somebody that did just a lot of sports i never really my well the sport that i kind of divert like set myself in was football or soccer for those americans i became very good at it a league etc but one thing i realized from that sport is losing was a part of winning you know after a football game and this is what i always kind of thought back then was my manager it was a fairly serious team we were the a league champion so yeah it was fairly serious but it was my manager used to give us a really hard time for losing and then he used to say basically nothing to us when we won why is that because when you win you don't care. You don't care what happened. You, you, you won the game. But when you lose, that's when you need to improve. So take it if you lose a game of League of Legends. Maybe install Baron Replay, Law Replay, one of the recording softwares. And watch over your games. See where you went wrong. See what you could do better. And that could help a lot. Trust me, it would help a usual sports person. And a lot of people do treat League of Legends now as a sport. So I don't see why that practice should be different. So definitely just take the losses as learning experience. Take it as, okay, I did this wrong or I could do this better. Like a lot of people don't really think in League of Legends of, yeah, I didn't feed. I did nothing. Yeah, you didn't feed, but could you have done something more? Could you have you got fed in your lane somehow? So always try to see a little bit more positives or try to just see a little bit more things that you personally could do. Now, League Anxiety, as mentioned, comes to basically anybody. And it's up to you if you really do want to get over it. You know, it. A lot of people in League of Legends basically are to the assumption of, oh, I'll just get high rated. I'll, I'll just get there without even playing rank. So if you're in the, the state that you want to be platinum, you want to be diamond, you want to be make pro one day if that is your ambition, and maybe you're bronze or silver right now, or maybe gold, platinum, whatever. If you simply don't play the game, you're not going to go up. So that is another thing for me that kind of tweaked my getting rid of League anxiety is... I have aspirations to be diamond in this game. I have aspirations to be in a, a ranked team and all that. How am I going to do that if I don't simply play ranked or solo queue, whatever? Because a lot of people underestimate how much solo queue actually does. Trust me, it does a lot. It improves your individual skill tenfold. But yeah, without playing the game, you're not going to get better. So again, that is a way to get rid of your nervous nervousness, if that is a word. Or just simply think... This is part of a learning experience. This is kind of what I need to do. I need to play the game. Yes, I'm going to have the occasional loss. I'm going to feed occasionally. I'm going to stomp occasionally. I'm going to play well occasionally. It's all part of the learning experience. And in order, if you want to have the aspirations of getting diamond or in a team, etc., playing the game is a part of it, obviously. But a lot of people kind of hit, you know, miss that because with my YouTube, I get a lot of messages. And the problem what the League of Legends has right now is people expect too much. You know, with the, the vast uh, streamers that you have available and the content on YouTube, a lot of the time League of Legends looks very easy because uh, you have these content producers, including myself, that just, you know, diamond people and they're playing the game very well. You have a, a Smurf series and you'll find that they're just playing well. So a new person to the game is coming in going, oh, I could do that. But they, then they don't realise actually what having the Smurf means or what being Diamond means. You know, they just simply don't realise. So one thing I'll say, to lower your anxiety and lower your nervousness, set lower expectations for yourself. You know, that is a massive thing what people do in League of Legends. You know, <clears throat> as, as, as I said, with YouTube, I get a lot of private messages now. You know, I've for some reason over the past couple of weeks, I've received a lot. And... No word of a lie, a lot of them are basically, I'm new to the game, but I really want to get gold my first season of Ranked, or I want to get Diamond, what's the quickest way? People expect way too much when they're new to this game. You know, way too much. If you're new to this game, simply just have a bit of fun. You know, treat it as a game. You know, pretend you're playing Crash Bandicoot or something. You know, that, that's probably a reference a lot of you may not get. But definitely just play it for the sake of playing it. You know, don't think... You know, it's, it's, it's again with a YouTube effect. A lot of people come into YouTube thinking one day this is going to be my job. That's a terrible way to think. You know, do it because you're just simply having fun. And if you're having fun, what have you got to be nervous about? You know, even in ranked, I'll always say try hard in ranked. Like the whole thing when people type in all chat, all try hards. I've never got that because it's ranked. You know, try your best every single game in ranked. Don't rage out on your team. Don't f feed on purpose. Don't position yourself in stupid ways if you know it's stupid. Just play your game for fun and your nervous levels should go down. Because again, you shouldn't be nervous about something you're having fun with. You know, when if you've ever played sport in your life or another video game or whatever, 
if you've been having fun with it, I doubt you'd be nervous. And that's all you've got to think about. You know, I think, you know, my football days, was I ever nervous playing football? No. You know, I was having fun with it. That's the point. So definitely look to that. You know, just get ignite the, the fun aspect in League of Legends again because so many people play this game and they don't even realise that they're not having fun. They're just playing it like a robot. And uh, that could make people nervous. Now, the final thing is, again, something that helped me is a friend group. Um, now, a lot of people, you know, this is the internet, so it's hard to say because a lot of people, I suppose, are a bit antisocial, maybe the right word or the political word, and a lot of people may not have a great friend group. Um, but if you do have one, trust me, and I, again, speak from experience with this, is that you learn together, you play together, you get better together, and, you know, it's just generally a good idea to play together. You know, my biggest example with this is... Um, I've got two friends that I've be basically played League of Legends with from the start, or more or less from the start. So you'll maybe have heard of them, uh, since obviously the channel's been going in a while now, and I've maybe quoted them every now and then. Basically, Galzuk is one of them, and Eben is another. So me and Eben started the same time. Galzuk started maybe a month or so later. It's kind of hard to say. But basically what's happened is Eben no longer really plays League of Legends and he's become, from what I can tell, I don't think he'd ever really admit it, maybe, but he became very nervous when it came to ranked. He never was a solo queue player anyway, but he only played solo queue when he was in duo queue. You know, that friend group that he could talk to, somebody he could trust, hopefully would do well, and he never got into solo queue. So he never really improved. He always kind of stayed about a silver level player, which is fine, you know, he's not playing the game seriously, so there's nothing wrong with that. But then let's compare Galzuk as another friend of mine. Me and Gals um, both were World of Warcraft Raiders. We were in a, uh, a heroic group, so we always had that drive in us to try and achieve best. Me and him were at the at one stage in the guild. Me and him were the top two DPS, and we always competed with each other. We've always done that. And that's kind of followed through in League of Legends. You know, me and Gals, it's kind of slowed down now because we don't really play together that much in ranked anymore. We're, we're starting to a little bit, but... Basically what happened, me and him always used to try and push ourselves, you know, do better on this champion, do better on this champion. And because we played League of Legends as our main game after World of Warcraft, we played literally every game together in normals when we used to didn't play ranked. And me and him became so synergized that he was a jungler, I was a mid lane at the time, it was amazing. And without us even realizing, we kind of, well, realized... Uh, that doing that, playing the amount of normal games together, has really made us both better players. We've both realised things that, you know, are kind of obvious, that may, well, maybe obvious to us and not obvious to other players, and we became just not nervous at all when we played together. You know, I remember when I was getting into a rank for the first time, and Gals was, etc., um, we didn't duo queue a lot at the start, but I remember when we started to duo queue, I wasn't nervous at all because I was with somebody I trusted. I was with somebody that I knew how they play. They knew how I play. It was just a pretty much a good idea. So that is one thing I'll say. If you are in the boat of being nervous, etc., try to find that duo partner or the, the support friend group that you just play normals with. You know, although the whole thing about League of Legends is ranked, get high rated, etc., it's not everything. You know, some people, again, just treat this as a game and just have fun. Um, you don't have to be diamond. You know, that's one thing. I don't think a lot of people tell people that, but you personally don't have to be diamond. You know, there is no expectation for you to be diamond. Sure, everybody would want to, but you don't have to be. Um, so, again, find a friend and synergize together really well and play together, normals, etc. Maybe move into ranked when you're both comfortable and you'll probably find your league anxiety probably will go down just with that person. Obviously, again, not everybody will have this uh, chance. You know, a lot of people who maybe your real-life friends aren't in video games or whatever. Um, but I personally did, so that is kind of partial of my story. But that's pretty much it. You know, league anxiety is something you can get over. It's something that if you just talk about it a bit, it helps. So, again, in the comments below, this is called league discussion. Basically, I've just shared my... Um, stories really i haven't really given my opinions that much on it basically just my stories my personal experience with it and yeah i got over it so if i can get over it trust me you can too uh, it takes a while don't expect wonders straight away but definitely you can get over it so again in the comment section below post your stories i will be down there i'll be helping people if you're saying you're nervous give, say why you're nervous and maybe i'll help you so again 
Thanks for watching. This was episode one of the new League discussion. Probably would have made a new playlist. I'm not really sure or, or rejigged it. But again, thanks for watching. Any um, comments that are not to do with just the topic, if you just want to make a suggestion for the series, go right ahead. But anyway, anyway, thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next time. So goodbye.